Good evening, everybody. How is it going today? Or is it good morning to most of you guys? It's now Wednesday, March the 14th. It's about 1 a.m. Central Standard Time, and we're going to talk about Bitcoin. So, a lot has happened. Not really, actually. Nothing really has happened at all, but I'm going to keep you guys updated anyways. Let's take a look at coin market cap very quickly first of all. Let me just pull it up here on my other monitor. All right. So coin market cap, Bitcoin, no surprise, still number 1. We're at 373 billion dollars for the market cap. So it hasn't really gone up or down. It's definitely a sideways trend right now. Let's take a look at the volume. We noticed that the volume is yesterday, it's actually slowly declining, guys. Ever since March the 9th, it declined heavily to 5 billion, 6.3 billion, 6.4, then getting even lower at $6 billion. If it was a bull market right now, or a short-term bull market, where are the buyers, right? And now we're actually slowly declining as well to $5.89 billion. So not really much of a bullish momentum going up right now at all, unfortunately. We take a look at this right here if from my last update i'm just going to go to a daily first of all let's talk about the daily candle close so daily candle closed off with the doji a bunch of inside candles are forming these inside bar candles are indicative of a definitely a trend change that's going to happen soon this could be seen as a support candle but i'd see it more as a bearish candle right here we got this series over here of the bearish spinning tops and with the bearish spinning tops there, it signaled that either a downtrend was going to continue or we were going to get sideways action for a few days. And here we're fairly range bound, as you guys have noticed, right? We get the upper end, but 9,500 to right around 9,100, we're finding some solid support for now. But how long is it going to last for? Let's find out. We see bullish momentum going upwards like that based on RSI, but then again, that's just because of the uptrend for this particular day, right? And now we're completely sideways, if you guys have noticed here. The MACD is still trending downwards. Histogram is slightly, slightly ticking up, but nothing really too big at all. The MACD 12-hour looks like it wants to cross over, but that might not be for a while. If you guys are unfamiliar with what the histogram is, that refers to this green part right here. The histogram, it ticks upwards and it ticks downwards. What we want to get into a bullish trend is when it actually goes up to the positive side. Notice how it's going from down here and it's moving up to the positive side. That's how you know we're in a fairly bullish momentum. But right now, we're about how many hours into the day? Six hours in the day? And we're getting a series of like a shooting star type of candle right here, right? Some people would consider this an inverted hammer, but I don't really see it as an inverted hammer. I see it more as a shooting star for now. We tried to shoot up to the 9400 range, but got shot down pretty quickly, I'd say. Let's look at the six hour. It's trending upwards, but we're losing steam, right? It's now curving downwards. Of course, it can curve up like that, or it can curve downwards like that. I'm more so banking on a bearish trend right here because, yeah, I don't believe that our, our correction is actually over yet. I think we need to probably head down to a little bit more, in my opinion, to have a healthier correction. Keep in mind that the healthier a correction, the more likely we are to achieve higher highs in the future as well. That's just usually how it is. So uh, what I mean is, um, you know, we haven't really hit okay let's say for example right here was the actual bottom right was this a deep enough correction just 0 0.5 maybe maybe right but there's always the possibility of us extending downwards if this was the bearish count where we just simply end up getting an abc coming down and there's no doubt in my mind that this is considered a bearish trend right it's it's, it's a bearish pattern right here so i'm just going to draw the inverted flagpole here and we're just going to call it A, B, C, D, E for simplicity's sake. So you guys can draw your trend line supports right here through these wicks, right? You can easily draw it right through these wicks because some of them would be considered a bear trap region. And here, you know, you can, if you look on a higher time frame, what you see is that these two candles would simply just overlap, which is considered a bull trap region right there as well. On a three hour, we see a shooting star, but some people might mistake in this or even consider it a hammer. Then we get a bearish spinning top, or some people would consider that more maybe an inside bar that's starting to slowly form. Actually, 
yeah, it's about the same high there. Either way, it's definitely a sideways trend with lots of up and down motions of wicks going up, wicks going down. Bears are attacking, bulls are attacking. Bears are defending, bulls are defending as well. So we look on the histogram here, it looks like it's ticking up very slightly, but I do believe, like I mentioned before, that we could easily end up getting to 94, 95, 90, almost 9600 range before we continue the downtrend. And I mentioned in my other videos as well, just to keep everybody up to date, that this 55 EMA is acting as a very hard resistance on every single time frame. So if you guys look on, for example, the two hour time frame, right? We try to break above it, rejected, rejected. We try to break above it, rejected. We end up getting a doji candle at the top, big come down right there. Big, it just got knocked down by the bears entirely. And we see this as a fairly decent support range, right? Where some regions are considered bull traps. And every time we get close to it, of course, we're gonna bounce off of it. But usually what ends up happening, if I call this, you know, a, B, C, D, and E. Oh, sorry, I, I drew that completely wrong there. Let me draw that again. Sometimes I draw it backwards by accident. So let's say we ended up calling that A. We call this B. We call this C, D, and E usually makes a touch somewhere there. Sometimes it can get all the way up to the top, but I, I really can't see it getting all the way up to, <coughs> excuse me, 9800 ranges again. Maybe, like I mentioned, um, you know, 94, 95, almost 9600 region. We look on the 45 minute chart, what we see is it resisting again, right? The 55 EMA. So a very interesting question is what's going to happen when this 55 EMA gets sandwiched into here? So will that actually cause it to finally downtrend and break out of here? Will we break upwards to 94, 95, almost 9600 range? We look on the 45 minute chart right here and it looks like it's about to finally down tick to the histogram side negatively, right? <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. So we had some bullish steam going up there with the histogram going up, right? Look at this from the bottom side. But now we're definitely losing steam. The histogram did tick up, but we get a series of bullish diverge or sort of bearish divergences coming down. On the 30 minute chart, we're already on the negative, but how much longer are we gonna be in this frame for? If we look on the histogram, we do see bullish pressure going upwards right now based on the histogram, but how long can this actually continue for is the big question, right? We're so close to the bottom right now that even on the, what time frame is this? 30 minute time frame right here, it just cannot maintain staying above the 55 EMA. If you look right here, it finally broke out of it around you know 11.30 last night, then it broke back downwards, right? Completely fell below the 55 EMA. Earlier today, around 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, we broke above it. Now we're simply coming right back down and we're getting sandwiched into this particular region right here. On the 55 minute chart, or sorry, the 45 minute chart, we see it break above the 55 EMA, came down very quickly. We look on the two hour chart, it keeps getting rejected at the 55 EMA. The one hour chart, it gets above it, then it gets rejected simply again. Notice this series of rejections that we're getting quite often, guys. Even on a 15 minute chart, what we're getting is a rejection right here. So think of it on the uptrend, guys. When, when you guys see it on an uptrend like this, right? If it is at an actual uptrend, a, even a slight one, we usually bounce on the 55 EMA right bounce off of it bounce off of it right here and then we go upwards a little bit right that's usually how it should be seen but on the opposite end the same thing applies guys the exact same thing applies where if you're getting a rejection to the upside well that's considered a bearish trend right here is it actually going to go up or is it just going to curve sideways and come down like that hmm interesting so as much as I would like to see a bullish trend right now, I just simply cannot. I see this as a very, very small tick up only, right? Perhaps something like that, and then it will come downwards. If I draw my histogram, it's already looking like it can possibly come downwards as well. We're only gonna get a very small tick upwards. On the five minute chart here, we still cannot even get above the 55 EMA. So how could we be led to believe that this is going to be any sort of uptrend if we can't even break above any key resistance areas, right? Not even on the five minute chart. 
on the three minute chart, we can even stay above the 55 EMA as well. We're breaking below it. On the one minute chart, we can't even stay above it either, guys. So because we cannot simply stay above the 55 EMA pretty much on any time frame, how are we led to believe that we could actually end up uptrending, right? It's incredibly hard to think that it's even possible right now. So until we get any signs of bullish momentum or any bullish signs or a series of bullish candles forming, very difficult for us to assume that there could be any type of uptrend, guys. So my target, unfortunately, for this particular point in time is still going to stand, guys. I believe that we could hit down to the 8200 region right there or down to even the 7600 region as well. Somewhere around here, my target still entirely stands between $8,200 and about $7,600. So I just thought I'd keep you guys updated very quickly. There's really no change yet at all, other than just a complete sideways trend for the past 24 hours. So I'll keep you guys updated when there's more of an actual update. Um, don't forget guys, I got a new Steemit, so you're welcome to follow me on there. You can find a lot of my general bias for coins in general. And you can find charts there as well. And I'd always appreciate the support, of course, like usual. Other than that, guys, have yourselves a great night. And I'll tr try to keep you updated down the road. Very, very, very quick update. So have yourselves a great night, guys. Bye now.